My name is Jun Sato. I am a normal high school student with not a special trait in particular. Because my personality is more on the gloomy side, I don't have many friends and I spend a lonely school life. Good morning, Queen Emma! Ugh. They're at it again. You boys, your head is a little too high. Lower it a little more. Of course! As, as you, you wish, wish Queen, Queen Emma! Emma. Hm. You guys are really disgusting. <laughs> please say more, Queen Emma! Huh? Ew. Don't talk anymore. Ah, what a pleasure! I guess that's their usual routine. The girl in the center of this absurd scene is a female student named Emma Yamamoto. She's on the top of the school pyramid and is treated as the queen bee of the school. With her overwhelming beauty and strong personality, she would always look down on people and would only open her mouth to verbally abuse them. Her existence itself screams queen, and almost all of the boys in our class were under her rule. But there are still people like me who have no interest at all, as I continue to not care as usual. Hey, for I nerd, get your disgusting self out of my sight. Um, how could I when we're in the same class? Uh, don't open your mouth. You'll pollute the air. <laughs> Is that so? Okay. Hey, June! That's unfair! Queen Emma, please reward me too! Me too! Me too! You guys are just gross. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Thank you very much! I mean, uh, apologies, Queen! As someone who is not her brainwashed follower, being made fun of was just simply annoying. So I tried not to interfere with Emma and her gang as much as possible. All hail Queen Emma! All hail Queen Emma! Damn, what about that scary woman is likable? Irritating as always. But those believers don't know the different face of this super bossy beauty. I'm home. Welcome back, Master June. Uh, th uh, thanks. I shall bring your bag to your room. Yeah, uh, thanks. Just to prevent misunderstanding, this is not my imagination, nor is this a story of a different parallel world. This is no doubt reality. And that's right. Emma, who puts on a bossy face at school, was actually a live-in maid at my house who listens to whatever I say. I try to keep this a secret at school, but was actually the son of a major conglomerate company in Japan. Of course, super rich. We had many maids at home. Emma's family was a family of maids that has been serving the Sato family for generations, and Emma has been working at our house since middle school as a maid in training. And starting this spring, as we became high schoolers, she was nominated as my personal maid. Yes, that was one year ago. I am Emma, your personal maid from today. Please treat me well. Thank you. I look forward to it. She's so cute. And this beautiful girl is my maid? What should I do? At the time, I thought I was lucky to have a cute and kind personal maid. But when high school started and Emma and I were put in the same class, my, was I surprised at what I saw. Hey, uh, Emma? That's surprising. I didn't know we were in the same class, the same school. Uh, hope to be good friends with you at school, too. Huh? What's your problem? Don't talk to me like we're friends. Ooh, uh, n no way. A different person? Uh, no, that's Emma, all right. What's going on? It felt so strange and uncomfortable after that, but when I went home... Welcome back home, Master June. Is there anything I can do for you? Please tell me whatever you would like. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, what the hell is going on? Hmm? What is it, Master June? What do you mean? You told me to stop talking to you at school. That really surprised me. So you say jokes like that too, huh, Emma? Uh, <laughs> hmm? What are you talking about? What? I would never say such rude things to you, Master June. But you... Maybe you're tired, Master. I shall give you a massage then? Wait... 
Is she for real? Could it be that Emma has a split personality? However, even after that, Emma's personality was the total opposite at home and at school. It was just too confusing for me to handle, so I decided to stop bringing that topic up. No matter how much I asked her, she would answer me saying, I don't know, there's no way I would do that. And then back to the present. Thanks for holding my bag. See ya. Please wait. I must help you with your clothes as well. Uh, uh huh? I, I can do that on my own. Please. At least with the socks. I said I'm fine. Please. One side. At least one side. Wait. Jeez, uh, that's too much. You're making me angry. <gasps> uh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh... It's okay if you understand. Anyway, I can get changed on my own, so... I'm so sorry. I'm an ugly, good-for-nothing, terrible maid. I didn't say that much. This, although she's extremely bossy at school, she's the total opposite at home. I feel like she's actually enjoying being scolded by me sometimes. Well then, I will leave. Please call me whenever you need something. I will do anything for you, Master Jun. Oh, okay. I got it. <sighs> She's messing with my mind. Which face is the real Emma? The one at school or the one at home? Unable to find out the truth, time just continued to pass. Then, one day... Hey, nerd. Come here for a sec. Uh, okay. I wonder what it is. I have a bad feeling about this. How come you don't greet me recently? You being cocky? Uh, no, I, I don't mean to. I mean, you were the one who told me to stop talking to you, so I tried not to interfere with- Huh? Are you talking back? I guess you need to be punished, huh? The special punishment's coming! Ah, <sighs> what the heck is that? What a bother. Oi, polish my shoes. Make them shiny. What? I said, if you polish my shoes and make them shiny, I'll forgive you. <laughs> Quit talking and hurry up and do it, nerd. Uh, fine. I'll take my handkerchief out. Huh? You thought I was serious? Why would I let you touch my legs? I would never. Gross. <laughs> D this bitch. Queen Emma is harsh as always, as expected from our queen! I want to get her special treatment too! I envy you, June! Change with me! Gah. How humiliating. I can't take it anymore. I'm home. Welcome back. Yep. I'll take your bag. No need. Then I will take you to your room. Don't come with me. If you say so. <laughs> that girl, Emma, acting as if nothing happened again. And that irritates me even more. Today, I will not let it go by. I have to find a way to get back at her. Oh, I know. That night, I called Emma to my room. Excuse me, Master June. Did you call for me? Emma, you said you'd do anything for me, didn't you? Yes. Of course, Master. Then, wash my feet. Make them shiny. Uh-huh. I won't let you say no. You said anything, right? <laughs> Serves you right. As a maid, you have to listen to what I say at home, right? Then I'll use that privilege to the max. <laughs> Must be humiliating. I'm... Am I... I... Allow? Huh? What's wrong? You don't want to? Am I allowed to do such a thing? Uh-huh. What an honor! Of course, I will do my best in making them squeaky clean. Uh, is she serious? Uh, wait, wait, wait. This should be an act, too. How long can she put on this act? Well then, I shall begin. Wait! Stop! Huh? But, but why? Who actually does it? I was just trying to get back at you. I didn't want you to actually do it. No, no way. Uh-huh. What's wrong with you? 
you really wanted to? Why, of course! What a stupid question. You're kidding. I can't... I can't keep up with her anymore. What is she thinking? <sighs> hey, Emma. I want to have an honest conversation with you. Firstly, why do you act so differently at home and at school? I don't know which one is the real you, and I don't know how I should interact with you either. Please, don't fake it and tell me the truth. What? That's not true. I'm the same at home and at school. You know you're lying. If you're going to continue pretending like this, I'm going to go ask Father to change my personal maid. Uh, p please don't. Then will you tell me the truth? That is, because I wanted you to pun- I, I mean, r rely on me more. Hmm? And then, Emma started telling me the truth. Although I have Emma as my personal maid, I try to do as much as I can on my own. Apparently that made Emma think that I was trying my best not to rely on her. She wanted me to rely on her more. And so, she thought that if she puts on a bossy face at school, I would release all that stress I felt at home and demand her to do more things. And with that logic, she acted like a bossy bitch at school. Wait, 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 wait. That's so confusing. You should have just told me the truth. And why are you so good at acting? I really thought you had a split personality. You stupid! You must be stupid! P please do not get so upset. Uh, I mean, please call me more. <laughs> uh, don't enjoy this! But why did you choose to do something so troublesome? You should have just told me directly. That, that will make you overthink, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, I guess so, but I'm sure you had a different way to do this. That is... um... I... I loved you this whole time! I love you, Master June! Uh, what? E Emma? Me? Yes! I had feelings for you this whole time! I dreamed of getting stared at you with your sharp eyes and being scolded by you. Huh? Apparently, Emma knew about me since she was a maid apprentice, and that was when she fell in love with my sharp eyes, and has been in love with me ever since. Furthermore, she had apparently begged my parents to make her my personal maid. Okay, um, let's put the reason you fell for me to the side. I understand your feelings now. I'm, I'm so sorry I caused so much trouble. Yeah, it was a real hassle, but I'll try to rely on you more now, so... Can you please act the same at school? Of course! Whatever you say, Master June. I want you to rely on me more. Is there anything I can do right now? Oh, um... Then there's something I want you to do starting tomorrow, but is that okay? Of course! I'm delighted! Anything for you! And then the next day... Master June! Master! Uh, Please wake up, Master June. It's morning. Uh, Emma! Wh why? You're the one who told me you wanted me to wake you up every morning from now on. Oh, that's right. Thanks, Emma. My pleasure. After that incident yesterday, I decided to rely on Emma a little more. I did want to get closer with Emma, and it wasn't a bad deal after all. So I get to see kind Emma at school starting today, huh? I'm sure everyone will be surprised. Oh, Emma, good morning. Huh? Don't call me by my name, you nerd. Eh? Uh? And your smile is just gross. Don't get too cocky, you idiot. Wait, this isn't what I asked for! Emma, excuse me? Welcome home, Master June. What was that? You promised, right? I succeeded in making you scold me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just love your eyes when you get upset. Master June, I know I shouldn't, but I couldn't help myself. Please scold me more. <laughs> I give up. I guess I'll continue living a hard life ahead. It seems my strange relationship with Emma would continue like this for a while. But now that I know how Emma truly feels, maybe this secret relationship between us two 
isn't that bad after all. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.